I love that sound. It was me inside. I'm with you. Uh, I like the hell of these sounds. That's great. That yeah, it is really awesome. Good. Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. Today, as you can see, we've got something very special, an exclusive interview with the Expansion Mod team. We have covered the Expansion Mod in a previous video. I will leave a link in the description to that video. And a lot of work has been done since then. Of course, new vehicles. The bulldozer has been replaced with a new bulldozer. Sadly, it wasn't working, so we didn't check it out this time, but we will in the future. Helicopter physics and handling have been greatly improved, as well as an awesome new helicopter model. You may also notice the helicopter kicks up dust around it, and the rotors work this time, as well as those sweet sound effects. So while you're watching this exclusive footage in the background, let's listen in to this interview with the Expansion Mod team and learn what they're all about. Uh, if you want to introduce the team, Thurston. Yeah, sure. So first of all, I'll introduce myself. Um, I'm Thurston, I'm Scripto, so I do modeling. Uh, we have a total of 12 members on the team. Uh, we have Steve, who's also in the call. Uh, he's the person who originally created the project. He also does scripting and UI. Uh, he'd also done the book, stuff like that. Um, secondly, we have Movax. He's scripter. He does a bit of model editing, for instance, with the helicopters, um, the vehicles, and just general stuff like that, base building. Uh, after that, we have Neuros. He's an amazing scripter. Uh, he's worked on quite a few backend systems, and he just knows his way around everything. Uh, we have two people who currently aren't in the call, Jacob Mango and Danny Dog. They're both amazing scripters and they're pretty well known in the Daisy community. Um, Jacob and Danny both wrote community online tools, community offline mode, missions framework and RPC framework alongside Arkansas. So, you know, they're good. We have Baroness who is in the call as well. She is our graphics designer slash texture artist. Uh, she takes amazing pictures. She's done pretty much all that you've seen of, uh, you know, when she's seen on Reddit, when she's seen on that Discord, stuff like that. Um, another person, well, the rest of these people aren't in the call, so I'll just list them off. We have Comatose Badger. He's the one who made all the base building objects. He's another one of our modelers. Uh, he's also done some other stuff for us, which hasn't been shown yet, but will be shown later. Uh, we have M. Kohler, who's done some work for Armor 3. He's a modeler and animator. He done, um, what's it called, our currency. So our silver, our gold bars, uh, silver and gold nuggets, stuff like that. Uh, we have Moon DC, who's done the, well, who's also worked on base building. Uh, he done the, oh, what's the word? Uh, he done the concrete part of the base building. And then, last two people we have dancer jesus uh, he's our mapper he's the one who made Chernos look all overgrown it looks absolutely amazing and um, big props you know he puts unbelievable amount of hours into this work uh, last but not least we have optics he's basically our community side he makes our teaser trailers uh, he manages i guess the whole community side of things and that's basically it awesome and what made you start the project why did you want to make such a, a awesome collection of mods for the community uh well personally as i said i didn't start the project steve did um the main goal from my understanding of starting this project uh was because at the time uh, of starting this project daisy 1.0 just released and obviously modern support had come out and loads of people had come from um the armor 3 modding scene which is fairly well known uh, has a load of amazing people in it like half of us in this team are from armor including myself uh, we just wanted to start experimenting with the new engine uh, we wanted to get stuff for instance prepared for armor 4 just get our way around it because you know infusion's new engine is obviously going to be working on uh, armor 4 everyone in that team basically has a passion for daisy and modern as a whole so yeah after multiple experiments and Doing our own mods, we all decided just to come together slowly but surely to make this project. And what's your aim for the project? Basically just expandability, as it's in the name, expansion. Uh, we're looking to make the expansion project a tool for uh, bringing everyone's ideas and concepts into DAISY. Um, from the server point of view, we're basically 
uh, giving server owners full control over everything they can do. If I can uh, add something to that, it's basically created for content creators that want to bring their content and experiment with the engine of DayZ uh, with our mod and basically the whole mod is or should like a fr framework at the end so everyone can easily create they, their own concept f from their perspective what uh, DayZ should their eyes. So is there anything you've got planned to add that isn't in yet? Is anything, uh, little sneaky teasers? Anything future planning that's probably going to be a bit of a hard job to get work in, but you really want to see it? Uh, well, basically we have plans for traders, as many of uh, people wish that as a future uh, Daisy ex expansion. So this will be a thing in Daisy expansion. Also the currency, like you will have uh, nuggets and bars later uh, that you can trade with on the traders and with players. Um, also, yeah, we have kind of uh, more um, Features for the book in uh, plans, so like uh, a crafting menu for the whole building stuff, and we po uh, probably will expand on the book. So there will be a few more menus, um, and also features like the party system uh, will get more functionality. So, for example, if you're in a party with different other players, you will be able to share, uh, like, for example, map markers on the end with your party members and stuff like that. So features that are working only in a party. Um, yeah, also on the plans are missions or maybe you can call it dynamic events uh, so people can actually get on currency and other fancy stuff like loot yeah the, the dynamic uh, dynamic events is something that I'm always asked about like every yeah. stream or every comment section of a video I do I get asked about AI missions uh, dynamic events and things like that so would that be a thing that's possible with AI so you go and take out some bandits for the loot? It's... So maybe it's a thing in the future to really make an AI, but the engine has not really uh, stuff like uh, for bots. They can, so they can actually shoot at you or, uh, I don't know, chase you like a real bandit and not like a zombie will do it. Yeah. So this... These are things that have to be done from scratch. And yeah. it is really hard, like uh, the, you can imagine the helicopter physics that have to be done from scratch. And, uh, but it's way, way different. I guess a lot of more work to do. Yeah. But well, I don't want to say it's not possible yet. Yeah, well, you can always use the infected, like we've said, and and just have uh, different ways of putting the infected around a mission because, I mean, they're in. So yeah. just have a certain amount that's, that seems right for whatever mission you decide to have or um, or, or animals. So, uh, yeah, we can see yeah, how that goes. Right. And as for the chopper, the, the handling is much better than the last time we tested it. Um, I'm, I'm liking it. I, I did struggle the first time, um, but I think that felt a lot more natural to me, like uh, going back to uh, maybe Armor 3 or Armor 2. So um, I think you're definitely getting there with the chopper. Um, it felt easy. Like <laughs> with the last test, I crashed. I never landed. I crashed, <laughs> and I actually could land it. So, and uh, I'm loving that new chopper as well. Um, Move said that that was the placeholder, the police texture. Uh, so I will put the proper texture that should be on it on screen, so people can see what it should look like. And yeah, the the lights inside were nice, and the I did notice the lighthouse. 
So was that your guys doing the lighthouse working? Yeah, that's uh, that's actually also a nice feature that we should uh, yeah talking about. So that's uh, a thing if at night time the lighthouses will actually yeah spin around with their light, and also you have on different locations on the map some generators that you can power up with uh, a battery and so you can light up a, diff uh, a special area inside the city uh, for that time the, the power source is uh, not empty <clears throat> so you can actually see in night in the uh, on that area uh, we have some problems with the z uh with the light system and yeah they actually need to fix it uh we don't know if we will add a generator directly when we're starting the mod uh just because the the depth problem um we have uh with the light system uh, you can't have like more than four light points um at the same area or the fps will go down drastically and um the bulldozer um you've changed the model for it obviously we didn't get to test it because it's not quite finished but uh it's different from the original bulldozer we showed off previously and uh, we can knock down trees for that is it the same kind of thing with this uh new model uh bulldozer we can it's actually a tool that we could use for uh you know to be productive in base building and things like that yeah, it's uh, exactly the same. It's it just because before we are using uh, another model and we have problem with copyright, so we just change to a new model. But it's exactly the same as before. You can ah, okay, yeah. cut down the tree and everything. Because a lot of people didn't notice last time in the last video when we uh, tested the expansion that it actually got logs and gathered materials on the floor. So you could essentially build a base quicker from gathering the wood quicker. With the bulldozer obviously you're just really loud because yeah. <laughs> you're in a bulldozer and moving slow so but it's a really great idea i, I really enjoyed it but well, you can tell from the video i was pretty hyped about that so do you have um any idea of when this will be on the workshop or is it still quite a ways off for people to, to try properly um actually we don't have any um dates but i can say that it's <laughs> It's weeks, weeks not months. Month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, actually, it's pretty hard to handle the date. Uh, we have some problem uh, with script. Uh, we need to overwrite a list. Uh, everything will be in the beta because we will have the beta before realizing it. Um, but uh, we are trying our best to do the things. Uh, we have uh, real life too. And uh, we are working most of the time uh, weekend, not the week. Oh, yeah, for sure. You, you got your real life uh, work and, yeah. and family. So you're doing this in your spare time, which is which is amazing. Um, that's why I, I love the people that do this in the modding community. It's all off your own spare time and your hobby kind of thing. And uh, you're doing it just for love of the community. And that's that's a great thing. So, um, so you're in alpha, I believe. Is it alpha or pre-alpha at the moment? Yeah, so... And then I'd imagine Alpha 0 0.27. Cool. You'll you'll do when you're more stable. You'll probably do like a hey, we've opened up a server, jump on for stability uh, to everybody, and then go crazy. At some yeah. point, that's not going to be anytime soon, though. Yeah, it will be. I think the first time we will try to do one server, or server, just to test everything fine, and if it's okay, we will just send to the. Okay, and that'll be a public beta. Yeah, no. Yeah, a public beta, and after if it's okay, the real is. Okay, sounds cool. So we'll make sure we keep an eye on that announcement coming out, and we'll get loads of people on to have a laugh because that'll be funny. Crashing the choppers. Oh, thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen. It's been good, and I'm looking forward to the future of the expansion mod. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Finish line. Yes. And you have to uh, use e. Actually, to yeah, set the to drive forward. Oh, I'm okay. Oh, it's it's going mental. Is it just?
just lagging for me or... Oh uh, yeah, the server's lagging. I'm okay for now. What oh, happened? No, it's, 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 it's... Oh my god, you're inside me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, okay, that shouldn't be possible. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> oh yes, it's actually working. It's working. Oh, oh. oh no! Perfect. <laughs> uh, except that I died. But otherwise, <laughs> but otherwise it, it's just working but without any delay on like our annual deal. <laughs> it still gives you some damage whenever you go close. Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's because... <laughs> teleport. Well, so. it's a I feature will... we copy pasted from XR, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. The bike of doom. <laughs> well, I copied from Wait. armor. Well, it's going. Yeah. Meet a target. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just I just teleported to Falcon on bike. <laughs> and you died again. Uh, okay, I will tell someone else next time. Uh, actually, Steve, you should. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this one tool is like fucking. Working I'm a man on the edge! When you, oh my god, you got stretch face again. <laughs> I might. Uh. Classic Daisy. Yeah. Well, currently there's some boxes animation on Daisy. So let's talk about the expansion mod in the comments section below. What are you most excited about? What has impressed you the most? from a mod standpoint that they've got working. I'll be covering this in the future as well as many other mods from other great creators in the community, and I'll see you peeps next time.